You may know him from the Celebrity Apprentice. Australian celebrity chef Curtis Stone is here and he's teaming up with One Dixie for a meal program to make sure that families have affordable food. Welcome to the 504. Thank you very much. It's good to have you. I'm very excited to be here. Yeah. Now we, we were just talking before we went live here, guys, <laughs> and you told me that you never cook. You're a bad cook. No, no, no. I said that I'm an okay cook. I just uh, don't do it often. That's not what you said, but don't worry. It's okay. <laughs> So I okay. thought what we're going to do is you're going to do the cooking and I'm just going to guide you. <sighs> so I've gotten myself in trouble. This is not even fair. So All this right, is fine. hot oil. It's hot ba bacon fat actually. Because okay. we crisped the bacon, we took it out. So now I want you to put some poblano peppers and some red peppers. Just throw it on in. You're going to be so impressed. By, oh, the whole, the whole bowl. The whole bowl. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Okay, now the red peppers. Okay. And then uh, we'll let that just, this is what you do. You pick up the pan and you just give it a little no, shake. No, wait. Just like that. Come you're on. setting me Come up on. here. No, no, no. Just the... It's just, there We're you about go. to lose all the peppers. Don't lose the peppers. Okay, keep it, keep it low. That's it. Oh, yes. they, get, they yes. slipped one time. That's good enough for me. Beautiful. So, okay. what we're doing here, it's, I've, I've come up with a program with Winn Dixie okay. to feed your family for 10 bucks. So, it's a family of four, nice. $10 for the entire meal. That's right? great. So, this is one of the recipes. We're going to be doing one recipe a week. Okay. Because we, we heard from our customers they want, they want quick. They want simple and they want affordable. So yeah. that's what we're bringing them. So we're going to do um, shrimp creole. So peppers, poblanos. I've got some garlic here uh -huh. that we're going to toss in. Then the shrimp goes next. So grab that shrimp and okay. toss it on in. This, this is, is a, a fancy meal for an affordable meal, you know? It is. It's a really simple one too, though. You get it? Yeah. Beautiful. Now I give that it. a little stir. Oh, okay. Like I said, little shake, little stir. Do a together. little shake and a little Make stir. The left hand and the right hand working together. You see, you picked the wrong one because you're about to lose <laughs> your job now because now <laughs> I'm killing it. No. <laughs> see? Look. Okay. So as soon as that shrimp, all I've done with the shrimp is I cut them in half lengthwise uh -huh. and I devein them. Now I know everybody's got their favorite shrimp creole recipe. Mm -hmm. We're in Louisiana. You guys are so proud of your beautiful food. I absolutely love it. So this is my little take on it. I've made it really simple and really affordable. So um, I hope you enjoy it. It too. looks so, pretty. Doesn't look great? Yeah. So the next thing you do is you take the white of the green onion. So I cut the whites and I cook those. You, this is all. So this, that's all okay. of them in. All right. And then you see the next bowl there is the green of the green onion. So okay. that's the top of the stems. We're going to use that later just to garnish. Oh, okay, we just want so the white now. So give that another stir. The shake and then the stir. Shake and then the stir. A little bit of salt. Mm -hmm. Just give it a little pinch of that. Oh. There you go. Okay. And then what I'm going to do next is take corn because corns are all central parts of this uh, this recipe. Oh, I love and I'm corn. I'm just going to cut the kernels off. You see, I put a little parchment paper down. Okay. And that is so you can get it easily from your board. It saves you trying to do it into a bowl. Mm -hmm. You can get it easily from your board to the uh, to the pan. And I also go along the cob of the corn, and I see how I'm using the back of my knife there. Yeah. To get all that cream out, that gives you this beautiful sort of starchiness. So don't waste anything. Oh. You can even snap that, throw it in some boiling water for 30 minutes, and make a corn stock if you want to. Oh wow. Then what do you do with that? Then you bring this corn over, and while you're stirring, I'm mm -hmm. adding. Okay. You so know. you got the easy job. You, this is cheating. You come on my <laughs> show and put me to work. <laughs> All right, so That's I'm going right. to keep stirring. What so do we you, do next? You keep stirring. I've got a little butter that we're going to add in there. Uh -huh. uh, a little heavy cream that we're going to add. And we're going to let that come to just a gentle simmer. And it's pretty much done. I no mean, way. The beautiful thing about corn is you can eat it raw. You can, you can Which cook you it taught lightly. me today. I've never eaten raw corn. It wasn't isn't, bad, though. Isn't that cool? Hmm. And you're going to finish by throwing that bacon back in. Okay. You've got a little parsley that I want you to sprinkle in there. All now? That can yeah, go in now? Yeah, go on. Get okay. it in there. <laughs> you look relaxed in the kitchen. What I you told talk? you, I don't, it's like, I just don't do it. But <laughs> <laughs> when I get in there, I'm just fine. You're doing it well. You're All doing right, it thanks, well. thanks. It's looking beautiful. Okay. Now, this, this is, does look pretty. This isn't in the recipe, but since I've been down here in New Orleans, I tell oh, you Oh, hot sauce and everything? The hot, yeah. That crystal hot sauce. Yeah. I didn't put it in the recipe because I know a lot of families don't uh, don't want spice for the kids. Yeah. Uh, like my boys. But that, you know most people will add it. But you can add it as much as you okay. like. Okay. You boil some rice or steam some rice. Okay. Okay, I've got my pot over here. And once that's nice and fluffy, we're just going to take that rice. Beautiful. How do we know when this is done? So once those shrimp have turned pink, um, they're done. You don't want to cook them until they're hard or leathery. You want them to be just, just tender. They look pink to me. They look good? Mm -hmm. Okay, so we're in business. All right, so just once, you, once your rice is steamed, just sort of, they say forking the rice. So you just sort of get a fork or a spoon like this and just sort of go through it. Mm -hmm. And you see that steam lift up. Oh, I love rice. Isn't that great? Yeah. Right, so the rice is sort of the base of the dish. And then 
bring this on over. Come on. Come with me. <laughs> you said I was trying to leave you? It's your turn to cook. <laughs> and then you just go ahead and spoon that straight okay. in. And it's this beautiful, simple dish. You know, the corn's really the hero of the dish. The right. shrimp is there, of course, to give it like that beautiful sort of salty flavor. This looks divine. Doesn't that look good? See, now I can show off. Thank you, Chef Stone. This was a lot of fun. Oh, thank you. My and pleasure. I learned something. It looks delicious. Have a taste. All right, so how much would this cost? Ten bucks for a family of four. Oh. That, that's, the, that's the great thing about it. This is absolutely amazing. And this is not just like, oh, fast food. You know what I mean? Exactly. It's good. It's yeah. a good meal for under $10. All you right, pretty sweet. Thank you so much. You eat, and I will chat for more on the Feed Your Family program. You guys can visit Wendixie.com and click on the sh shopping tab. You can also keep up with him on Twitter and on Instagram. Look for at Curtis Stone. All right, guys, well, that's all for tonight. Thanks so much for watching, and we'll see you back here tomorrow night at 9 for more of the 504.